everyone and welcome to daily newspaper analysis which is brought to you by Lossico. So today we have one article for our discussion which has been taken from the Indian Express. The title of the article is Women Lawyers and a Career in Litigation. So as the name itself is suggesting, this talks about it, how can we make the Indian judiciary more gender neutral and how can we increase the number of women lawyers and we can actually motivate them to have a career in the litigation as well. So this newspaper analysis is presented by me. My name is Sheva Khan. I am a law graduate and I have completed my law degree from Uttarakhand University with a gold medal in my batch. I have also been a national debater and a public speaker. And here at Law Seco, I'm working as the manager for Current Affairs Vertical. Let's see what is the multiple choice question from our yesterday's discussion. National Gokul Mission is related to your options are livestock, bird conservation, wetlands or none of the above. You can put down your answer in the comment section below. This is the descriptive question for the day. Suggest some ways to make Indian judiciary more gender neutral. So let's start a discussion for the day, which talks about women lawyers and a career in litigation. So according to the Vidhi survey, the highest representation of women in litigation is as high as 28.57%, which definitely is not even half of you know, the entire ratio. So definitely there is an abysmal lack of literature in women in litigation. So which means that there is no proportionate representation of women when it comes to litigation as a career field option. And that is why we need to have more gender neutrality as well as larger number of women working in this area. So let's see that what can be the possible causes for such abysmal show. Firstly, a gender neutral approach for law firms has a decent female representation. So we must note that the law firms that are actually gender neutral, they actually have the uh, you know decent uh, female representation. But when we talk about the litigation as such, so we mostly at times we think that it is something that is not very stable for women. The women have to work in a very hectic situation or maybe it's not safe for the women and so on and so forth. So that is why we should inculcate a proper atmosphere that is considered safe and uh, you know growth oriented even for the women second justice chandra chur in 2012 noted that only five out of 294 senior advocates in the supreme court were women so that actually is a very big thing that we should be paying attention to and this was because the clients prefer female lawyers so that fees is less so now the reason why, you know, the clients would be preferring the female lawyers is that they charge less. Now, this definitely is not it's actually a big question on the entire career of that particular lawyer. Now, second, the independent women legal practitioners are strong armed into accepting lower wages, making sustenance difficult. And that is why it becomes difficult for them to do the basic sustenance and that the lesser wages or the lesser payments uh, from the clients is a big problem as well. The court holidays and client freedom further uh, trivializes the career of a woman litigator. And there is no reservation for women in posts like pleaders and public prosecutors as well, which if at all it existed, then it might definitely enhance the participation from the female side. There is also lack of crutches in the courts, unusable restrooms, non-recognition of the maternity leaves as well. So definitely there are some things that have to be provided to the women. For example, if the woman, you know, if she's pregnant, so she needs, uh, definitely she needs the maternity leaves. If at all she has a very small baby, she needs to be, has to carry the baby along. So there should be proper crutches in the court and the restrooms, the washroom should also be very clean and hygienic. Also, the women are forced into practicing human rights or family laws only, and it is considered that the criminal laws and other kinds of such so-called risky litigations are not meant for women. So women being care-oriented lawyers are better mediators. So this is basically a, a kind of a subtle sexism that we can see here, that they think that because women have, you know, they care more for the people. So they are more, they're better of mediators as compared to being lawyers. So uh, there are, are also some solutions that have been provided in this article for this entire problem. So the surveys are to be undertaken to better identify the problems so that we should we can actually get into the deeper understanding and understand what are the real problems behind this problem. And the media houses need, need to feature, acknowledge and appreciate women in commercial litigation space. Definitely media can play a very important role in changing the percep uh, perception of the people at large as well. Next, the attrition rates shall be kept in check by providing proper amenities to the mothers and more women need to be inducted into the bench for better representation. So that was all. Let's really hope that in the coming times, the Indian judiciary becomes more gender neutral and we can see larger number or greater number of women participating as litigants. 
So that was all for the day. We hope it was a good and informative session for you all. Thank you so much for staying tuned with Law Seco. If you wish to download the PDF of today's slides, you can join our Telegram channel. The link is there in the description box below, or you can scan the QR code that you can see on your screens right now. Also, please do not forget to follow us on our official Instagram channels for Judiciary, CLAT exam, UGC net, as well as the finance exams. Thank you so much.